Hi, well, I'm Keith Merrill, chair of the project committee. I have with me Eric and Larry, who are also members of the committee. Two of our members are not on site, but they are deeply involved in the project on a weekly basis. So uh, what we'd like to do is give you an update. We're starting here at the administration building. Uh, to me, I'm personally uh, very excited about this facility. We're gonna get all of our administration uh, together in one facility moving along well. Uh, as you can see, the white is the areas where we've made repairs to the siding and gotten rid of the uh, unusual varmints we have. So those are gone. And another exciting thing is behind me here are the two restroom doors when you are playing golf between uh, river and sound. Be a quick place that you can stop to use the facility. So that's going to be a neat feature uh, for our new uh, project. So <clears throat> Eric at this time is going to give you a, a little more detail update on the administration building. So as Keith mentioned we replaced uh, the bottom portion of the siding. Uh, we had a lot of rust spots so basically they cut up about uh, two and a half three feet up and uh, we re removed and replaced all the insulation behind and uh, basically fixed all this area here. Uh, we will put new landscaping in this area here um, as Keith mentioned, we do have the two doors here. There will be a sidewalk that goes out to here and then you'll be able to access it. We'll take out the, the uh, landscape right here and you'll be able to access it right from the uh, car barn side. Um, and again, right now, the framing has just started. So right now it's, it's pretty much cleaned up, but they'll uh, jackhammer the one location of where the uh, the plumbing has come in and they'll start it on the other side so you'll have access a uh, ladies and gentlemen restroom on this side of the building we're going to go inside now some of the other features that's going to happen there's going to be a perma base which is a dura rock that's going to go on the side of the building and then they're going to put the stucco finish on there and again this will be the neutral ground which will match the uh, building the golf club building We'll go inside. We're walking into the new space. Uh, this will be the reception area. We'll have a nice reception desk located here. Uh, there will be a nice uh, uh, tile wall on this side here. Um, it's going to have a nice uh, dura rock on there so you can hear the tile. And then we have the drywall that came in to fix uh, any of the areas within the uh, office space. We'll also have a, uh, this is, will be where our coffee machine is. And then this is where our uh, membership will come in and get photos when they need to get uh, their new cards or anything of that nature. So we'll have a, a nice wall over located here. And then we're walking towards the hallway. So let's just say you went to go see Aga or Krista, and then you wanted to go see Denise or myself or Travis, you'll walk through this hallway here. Um, located here, this is the employee uh, break room area. So we have a little space for us. Uh, but this will be the hallway that you'll walk through if you want to come see myself or, or Denise or or Travis we will be replacing all the existing lighting so we do have the latest and greatest LED lights uh, similar to what we did at the racket center they'll be replacing those next week uh, so we have drywall that's located here uh, they'll be framing up we did get the inspections for electrical so now we can put the drywall up so we'll start that uh, next week and then we'll start on the flooring and replace uh, all the uh, it's uh, luxury vinyl tile that will be in the in the flooring so we'll have that going for us uh, and then they'll start on the exterior next uh, next week so a lot of great things here at Pelican. I also wanted to mention we have three total uh, AC units in the administrative building and two of them had to replace and here's uh, the out, outdoor units right here just got replaced so it's nice and cool inside okay here we are at the golf golf clubhouse and you can see behind me the, sit, the roof, the parapet wall, the HVAC unit, and so forth. A lot of questions have been raised about the look of the parapet wall, the, the roof, the air handling units. It's a work in progress. The roof is not completed. The parapet wall is not completed. The HVAC units are not painted their final color. So a lot of work is going on, and uh, so I ask people just to be patient as we progress forward with the project. I'm going to ask Larry at this time to talk a little bit about the work that's going on 
as far as the front of the building. Hi, we're, we're now outside of the entry area of the golf clubhouse, and you can see the, um, the work that has been accomplished in the last couple of weeks on the exterior. This is what I referred to as the um, the fun stuff, that the grunt and dusty and dirty work is pretty much behind us, although there's still enough dirt to be floating around. But this is what's making the club come together, give it a personality. You can see down through here, the stucco has been applied to the front of the building. It has been painted the, the final color of the building that we're going to use. The stone has been applied this week. Uh, this has all been done just in one week. And it comes down the wall, as you can see, and we have some areas that, drop, that go up to eight foot and come back down to the drip line and then it comes around to the uh, the entryway all the way in and wraps around the, the front door and the front end. So we're just inside the uh, golf club. I'm gonna take you around. Uh, a lot of things have got accomplished this week. I wanna showcase some of the uh, drywall, electrical, and some of the audiovisual things that have happened this week. So we'll walk into the pro shop space now. As you can see the hallway, all the drywall is complete. Alright, so we'll have a door right outside the pro shop and then if you can see the drywall has completed on the uh, wall section and then we'll start on the ceiling section. I uh, understand that in the center will be a, a, a wooden ceiling in the center and then there'll be clouds on the sides with diffusers that you'll be able to see. Um, so it's going to be a kind of a neat look. Um, and then over here we have the reception desk, about 10 feet uh, desk, pro shop desk. Uh, over here, uh, two TVs located on the end, and then all of our merchandise um, display pieces are in the center, and then we have a slat wall on this wall and a slat wall over there. So a lot of great things over here. We're located outside in the pavilion, and you can see right here they've got all the grading started. So we'll have a, this is uh, getting prepped and ready for base rock and then pavers. So we're starting to get a shape of this whole space you can see all the other terrace area they got the grading in place so we can get the base rock and then pavers on top uh, we're getting final grading outside here so we can start getting the uh, irrigation and the landscape lighting uh, in place so they're doing the final grade um, we'll have a, a walkway out here as well going out to the uh, cart path so we're getting all this fixed next week we will be closing off the cart path because we're going to be ripping up the existing cart path and replacing it with pavers. So this will be blocked off. Unfortunately, you will be have to use uh, the, the main entrance side to be able to access uh, Lakes 1. Uh, so we'll have this blocked off uh, next week, but it's uh, great things to come. I'm going to take you inside to showcase some of the things in the pavilion kitchen. Pavilion kitchen is uh, continued with uh, insulation and drywall. All the electrical rough in is already in place. This is the main line for the kitchen. And you can see we have more insulation and, and um, drywalls in. Um, most of the um, insulation in the ceiling is uh, spray foam is complete. Still have just a couple more sections to complete, but we got a lot of progress going through. Right, so we are located in the Pelican Pub. Uh, more electrical has been put in for, we have pendant lights uh, underneath the banquette, so they have those already in place, and they'll sp be spotted right in the center of the uh, table. And I'm gonna walk you into the uh, palm room, and all the uh, can lights have been installed. And they'll start uh, finishing up the drywall and insulation in this area, but you can see around the cove our nice uh, LED, latest and greatest uh, can lights. And we go into the Vista room. And some of the duct work is still continuing with the diffusers and getting it all plumbed in, but we've got continued from the pub side into the Vista. You can see those rings, those are the where the speaker location will be. So those are all roughed in, ready to go. 
This will eventually have acoustic ceiling um, and drywall as well. Um, the chandeliers are in fabrication right now, so we'll start seeing those in about three weeks. Uh, there's some beautiful chandeliers. Um, there's three on this side and then they continue all the way throughout the Vista, but really great features and you'll see those quite soon. I'm going to take you into the kitchen space. This is the service, service area. This is where uh, the ladies and gentlemen will be making your drinks and getting it and bringing it into the room. This is where the point of sales will be located. And then moving into the kitchen space itself. It's a little dark right now because we don't have the lighting yet, but uh, you can see the drywall is all in place and all the HVAC and electrical is all roughed in and ready to go. So a lot of great things. One of the critical items in the project or key items is the roof, the ventilation and the HVAC, the air handling units. And so uh, let's go up on the roof and take a look. Well, here we are on the roof of the golf club. The good news is we're all sealed in. We've been through a couple rains. We have had no water intrusion in the clubhouse. And so we're well on our way to uh, getting the whole thing sealed uh, as it needs to be. As you can see behind me, we have a lot of equipment up here and Larry's gonna talk about what this, some of this equipment is all about. Well, we, in a previous couple of videos we talked about, I talked about the uh, mechanical equipment that we're gonna be up here on the roof. And now that it's all in place and set in, uh, hooked up with ductwork and piping, you can see that uh, there's a lot of equipment up here. Uh, we got four uh, air supply units, rooftop units. Two of those four are energy recovery units. And we'll show a picture of that in just a minute. Those are the ones that uh, you can see from the ground at this point. The other two are just standard rooftop units. We have four kitchen supply makeup fans. They have cooling coils in them to produce cooling, cooled air to the kitchen area and, and exhaust uh, hoods. And then we have all of the exhaust fans for the hoods that are up here also. So there's a significant amount of equipment that has now been set in place in its final resting place. And as Keith indicated, the roof is dried in. We've had no leaks over the last two rains that we've experienced. So we're comfortable that everything is good and dry. So we're like located right outside the Vista. This is a terrace area. They've got this all graded. We'll have uh, base rock coming in uh, tomorrow and getting all the prep work for the pavers, which will start uh, on Monday. You can see that the planters already have the gravel and the uh, fill in so we can get those prepped uh, for landscaping. The lines for the sleeves for the irrigation are put in place. So we're getting all this uh, ready. We'll start uh, some of the irrigation work within the next uh, few weeks to get this all prepped and uh, ready for landscaping in the near future. And I just want to mention some of the things that are going to happen next week. You can see the window frames are in. Uh, they'll start putting in the glass next week. And then the next uh, two, two weeks from now, uh, they'll start putting in the uh, Euro doors on the bottom here. And some of the things that are happening also next week, which will be the uh, paver installation. Uh, they'll start working on the roof installation. And so we have framing, drywall, electrical, uh, some great things to come and uh, we're pushing through. Well, hopefully that's been informative for you, giving you an update of where we are on the project. This team continues to meet every week with the project management group and uh, we resolve issues and questions as they come up to keep the project moving. It's moving on time. Our, still our goal to have our certificate of occupancy in September. And uh, I personally, uh, along with the team, are very excited about what's happening. Thank you.